house right nearby us that affected all the whole community what happened there the parents let their daughter die in deplorable conditions they will now spend decades behind bars that was the decision from an east feliciana parish judge really just happened just a few hours ago we've got some more reaction tonight on what this is doing to the community out there chris rosado is live outside of the courthouse to catch us up on everything chris good evening hey good evening greg so family and friends of both Clay and Sheila Fletcher packed inside of the courtroom today for what turned out to be clearly an emotional day. Uh, both parents, while they were on the stand, uh, said if they could go back and do things differently, they would do anything to do so. We heard uh, from multiple expert witnesses who were there the day Lacey was found melted into her parents' living room couch. They described it as one of the worst cases, if not the worst case, of human neglect they've ever worked in their entire career. Prosecutors were hoping to get the maximum sentence of 40 years on the charges of man slaughter. The judge ended up handing down half of that with five years of supervised probation after they have both served their sentences. When asked why they didn't get Lacey the help that she needed for so long, her mother said it was because she didn't believe anyone could care for her daughter better than her own mother. Mother, Here's how, uh, here was the reaction from uh, the, one of Fletcher's attorneys while he was describing this case. The words that keep coming to mind are tragic, sad. You know, the Fletchers are very good people. They just got in over their heads. I think the judge was right. They should have reached out for help much earlier, and they didn't. And uh, they said there's much on the stand. So it's just very, very sad. Now, once things wrapped up and we were heading outside, you could see uh, many of the friends and family walk into their cars with tears pouring down, pouring out of their eyes. A lot of the folks that were here today have known both of the Fletchers since they were in high school, so you can only imagine how that was for them. But the parish coroner said that today should serve as a wake-up call for anybody that has a family member with special needs. In East Feliciana Parish, Chris Rosado, WAFB, 9 News. Guys, back to you. All right, Chris, thank you for that. Appreciate it. An insurance reform bill.